This right here is hard to believe. I'm about to film an hour long fan mail unboxing special and I just wanted to take a second to give you guys a little tour of what my fan mail room looks like at this very moment in time. So I have my studio light set up over there all ready to film, um, but we have boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes of mail as well as so many bubble mailers and also four tubs of envelopes. I am absolutely speechless and I am so excited to dive into this. Wait a second, before you watch any further, go get comfortable, go get your favorite snack, your favorite drink, and just sit back and relax. Because today I'm going to be opening fan mail that you guys sent to my PO box for an hour straight. Ah! Guys, I am so excited. It has been so long since I've sat down and done a video like this and it's long overdue. Evidently. I mean, as you guys saw in the beginning clip, fan mail is literally taking over this room. And I'm not complaining. I mean, this is amazing. I am literally living my biggest dream right now. When I was younger, I used to sit down and watch YouTubers do fan mail unboxings, and I would always just fantasize that maybe one day that would be me, and I just cannot believe that this is a reality. I don't even have words to express my gratitude. This is quite literally a dream come true, and it would not be possible without all of your support. You guys are the reason why I'm able to make fun content like this. I love you all so much. Thank you for being here. I want to give a virtual hug to all of you before we get started. Come on, come on, come on. But anyways, without further ado, let's get straight straight into this fan mail unboxing. Okay, so, oh my gosh. I'm looking around me right now and I don't know where to start. My head is actually spinning. A few moments later. All right, so after much debate, I decided that we are going to open up this big box first. And guess what, you guys? It comes all the way from Australia. That is just absolutely insane to me. And this package was sent to me from a star fan member named Lucy. And she actually reached out to me and let me know that she was planning on sending me a humongous box of Australian snacks. And I am beyond excited for this. This package is so heavy and it's actually around lunchtime right now and I have not eaten lunch yet. So I will definitely devour these snacks right now. I'm just so excited. Let's snip this open. It is so big. I literally didn't even know what angle to open it from because it's taped up real good. Oh my gosh, I found an opening. Yes. Guys, look, I'm tearing this open like a wild animal. I have no self-control. I am so excited. Lucy, I hope you're watching right now. Oh my gosh. This box is totaled. <gasps> oh my gosh. What? Holy mackerel. Do you guys see this right now? Guys, this is actually crazy. She really hooked me up with all of the Australian snacks. Holy moly. I'm trying to see if there's a note in here before I start just trying all these snacks. Two seconds later. Oh, okay, good. I found the note. I found two notes, actually. So we have a note that says about this package and then to Kayla from Lucy. And I love these envelopes, by the way. They are so stunning. The note says, Dear Kayla, I've been watching you since late 2019. Your videos always make me smile. I have 62 lip sets and I got my first one in 2021. My biggest dream is to meet you and I really hope it happens one day. I love you so much. Love, Lucy. Lucy, I hope I can meet you one day as well. Seriously, you are so real and I always love reading your comments and seeing your Instagram edits. You mean so much to me. I love this note. I'm going to keep it forever. And now we are going to open up this envelope that says about this package. So she's gonna give me some insight on what we got here. I have collected a bunch of Australian candy, snacks, chocolate, ETC for you to try. I hope you love it all. Please tell me which one is your favorite. Love, Lucy. I will definitely be doing that. And wow, okay, so, oh wait, there's another one. There's another note and this one's to Callie. And then, oh my gosh, she made one to Dan as well. Okay, he is going to be so happy. That's gonna make his day, his week. Seriously, you have no idea. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to be able to try every single thing in this video because yeah, there's a lot, but we're gonna try quite a few. So let's get into it. First, we're gonna try these biscuits. They are called Anzac biscuits. Yeah, crunchy golden baked oats, coconut, and a splash of golden syrup. Sounds promising. Let's give it a go. Ooh, they smell good. They smell like Girl Scout cookies. 
Okay, ready? Here we go. Mmm. Literally, these taste and smell exactly like the Samoa Girl Scout cookies, which are my favorite type of Girl Scout cookie. Mmm. I really like these. I'm gonna give them a 9 out of 10. <gasps> Ooh, okay. These look like they are right up my alley. They're called Allen's Frosty Fruits, and it looks like they are gummy popsicles, and I really want to see what these taste like. So, we're gonna try a red one. Red and green. Mmm. Oh, they smell so good. Mmm. Oh my gosh. These taste exactly like fruit roll ups. I love these. I didn't realize how good Australian snacks would be. I rate these a 10 out of 10. I don't know if anything's gonna beat these, honestly. Okay, let's reach into the box of mystery and whatever I pull out, we're gonna try. All right. So I got these sour rainbows. Ooh. Looks like there's a little chicken on the packaging. Just the name of them is literally making my mouth water. Let's give it a try. Wow. These taste like peach rings. Holy moly. I swear I'm liking this Australian candy more than candy from the US. And I'm not just saying that. These have been so good so far. Ooh. Okay. Not gonna lie. I'm really nervous to try these because I saw a very specific ingredient that was in them. And I'm nervous. Forgive me if I pronounce this wrong. But it has Vegemites in cheese. And I've tried Vegemite before. It is not my jam. It's not my favorite thing, okay? It has a very interesting taste. So I'm gonna be brave and try one. I have a feeling I'm not going to like these, but you know, we're gonna take a chance here. Ah! They smell okay. Oh gosh. Here we go. Wait. They're not terrible. They kind of taste like um pistachios. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Not bad. I thought I'd be spitting these right back out, but they're not terrible. I like them. I'd give these a seven out of 10. Oh, there's a Twix bar in here. We also have Twix bars here in the US. So these are no stranger to me. I love Twix. Do you guys love Twix? Let me know. <gasps> oh, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about these. They're called burger rings, like onion rings. Ah! Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> this is what they look like. I'm really scared. You got a nice variety here. I've never seen anything like this here in the US. Three, two, one. You know what? They're not bad. They're really not. I was very skeptical. I think if they had a different name, I would have been like, okay, let's just go for it. But it's just the name of them that made me like nervous about it. It literally tastes like the aftertaste of when you eat a hamburger. I would rate these a six out of 10. Literally, there are so many snacks in here. I cannot believe it. We're gonna try just one more because I'd really like to try the rest of these on TikTok. If you guys aren't already following me on there, my username is kaladral 2 But all right, let's see, what should we try last? Ooh. These remind me of the gummy popsicles because they're by the same brand. These are Allen's drumsticks. So they're like gummy ice cream cones. Mm, don't mind if I do. Let's try a vanilla. Hmm. These look very interesting. But they smell pretty good. They smell like lip zest. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. This tastes like a hardened marshmallow. Wow. That is really unique and I can confidently tell you, I've never tried anything that tastes quite like these. I like them. I would give them a 7.5 out of 10. Lucy, if you're watching this, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sending me that incredible package. I cannot wait to try the rest of the snacks on my TikTok. That was just so incredibly generous. And I mean, what a fun package. You are absolutely amazing. And I am so honored to have you here in the Star Fam. Next up, you guys, we are going to be opening up a Star Fam letter. And I actually have four giant bins full of letters. I'll try to show you guys. They're over there in the corner. You see that bin? Yeah, there are four of those. So I'm going to bring one of them over and now we are going to reach in and open one. Let's do this one. Ooh, okay. It says, please open on camera. So let's do that right now. But first we got to sing the We Just Got A Letter song. Sing with me, you guys, sing with me. We just got a letter, we just got a letter, we just got a letter, and it's from Valerie. Bump -a -dump -a -dump -bump. Bump. All right, Valerie from Florida. Let's see what she sent me. Oh my goodness. So first of all, I see a very velvety pink scrunchie sticking out of the letter, and it's so beautiful. Thank you so much. I love scrunchies. 
And she also sent me this homemade bracelet, which is amazing. I love the colors. I love the pom-poms. It's so unique. So I'm going to be putting that on. And now we are going to be reading the note. Okay. Let's see. There's actually two parts. <gasps> ah, I love the illustration at the bottom. So it says, Dear Kayla, my name is Val, short for Valerie. I'm a huge fan and I watch you every day. I love your videos with Callie. You are the best babysitter slash best friend ever. I have a video idea as well. It is to show Callie's fidget collection. That would be fun. The amount of fidget hauls tell me that she has a lot. Anyway, you are the best and I will continue watching you every day. Oh, and then she also made these little boxes on the side with words that I use a lot. <laughs> so it says, girl, literally, honestly, hot mess express and in a hot minute. So accurate. And then look at this beautiful drawing she made of me. So she wrote my name and she put K for kind, A for awesome, Y for young, L for loyal, and A for amazing. You guys already know I'm going to be hanging this up on my fan art wall. Thank you so much, Valerie, for sending this. And then there is actually one more piece of paper here and it is a Q&A. How old are you? I am 24 years old. What state do you live in? I'm from Pittsburgh, PA. And then she wants to know how much my shopping sprees cost. So it really varies. Uh, usually the more expensive ones are at Target. Valerie, this was so sweet. Thank you for taking the time to send me this letter. Next up, we're going to be opening up this bubble mailer and it comes from a subscriber named Kayla. First of all, named twins. I love that. And also I see Kayla commenting on my videos all the time. Huge shout out to you, Kayla. Thank you for being such a loyal member of the star fam. Like I said, I am always seeing you commenting and I appreciate it so much. So let's see what she sent. And I know she's watching this because like I said, she is such a loyal member of the star fam. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at this package of fun. <gasps> okay, first of all, Disney Princess Lip Smackers, and I do not have these yet. I have the really old ones, but I don't have these new ones, and I have been wanting them. Oh my gosh, so we have the flavors. Daring Blue Raspberry, Always Dreaming Juniper, Curious Caramel, Bedazzling Berry, Dream Free Peach, One Touch Cookie, Brave Blossom, Pop Passion Fruit, Awakening Cherry Kiss, and Keep Dancing Baguettes. Holy moly, this is amazing. Wow. There's Princess Jasmine, Cinderella, Belle, Aurora, Ariel, Pocahontas, Mulan, Rapunzel, Snow White, and Tiana. You guys, out of all of these princesses, I want to know which one is your favorite. My personal favorite Disney princess is Ariel. I also really like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. But let me know who your favorite is. I am so excited to try these. Thank you so much, Kayla. And then she also sent me fudge brownie cookie bites which i have never tried literally i'm gonna have so many fun snacks now oh <gasps> swedish fish oh my gosh oh, 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 she sent me pretty patties by the way you guys the pretty patties episode of spongebob is one of my favorites and you cannot change my mind it's the best all right and then she also sent me the og krabby patties which i will be sharing with dan the man because he loves these so much. And fun fact, whenever I was younger, I had this play kitchen and I would always dissect these little Krabby Patties and I would pretend to be SpongeBob making Krabby Patties on the grill with my play kitchen. We also have, oh, what? They have Squishmallow gummies? Okay, I am totally trying these on TikTok. Holy moly. This is the coolest thing ever. You guys are like amazing. Stop it right now. Oh my gosh. So Kayla sent me the Tree Hut Cotton Candy Sugar Scrub. And this is by far my favorite tree hut. I actually have one right now in my bathroom that I'm currently using. And I haven't been using as much as I want to because I'm trying to like savor it, if that makes sense. So now I have a backup and I am so thankful. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Whoa, she even sent me unicorn lip smackers. Guys, it has been so long since I've treated myself to lip balms and this is making me just like so happy and feel so nostalgic. All right, and then there's, oh, I like don't even have words. She sent me the Valentine's Day lip smackers. 
There's Great Pull For You, Cotton Candy Kisses, Choco Full of Love, Peach of My Heart, Kiwi Belong Together, Forever Fruit Punch, You Are the Zest, and One in a Melon. Ah! It's making my heart explode with happiness. Then we have Birthday Cake Cookie Dough Bites. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. I don't even know which ones I want to try more. Probably birthday cake because I'm obsessed with birthday cake, but fudge brownie bites, it sounds so good. So she sent me the Lip Smacker Easter Trio set. There is Springtime Citrus, Cuddle Me Cherry, and Grateful Season. Oh, I love the small of Lip Smackers. They just make my heart so happy. And then there is another pack of Valentine's Day Lip Smackers. These are so stinking cute. I literally cannot get over these. Like what? Oh my gosh. And then, okay. So to top it all off, she sent me two notes. So we're going to read them right now. Oh my gosh. Three notes. Let's see. This one says, hi, Kayla. I hope you had a great 24th birthday back in January and celebrating it in Disney World with Dan. My birthday was on February 4th and I turned 21 years old. Happy belated birthday. I have the same zodiac sign as you. Also, my name is Kayla too, and this is my third time sending you fan mail. You're my favorite YouTuber of all time. I hope you have a meet and greet in Ohio because I live in Ohio and it is my dream to meet you someday. Thank you so much, Kayla, for that note. And here's another one. She gave me video ideas. Okay, let's read them. Buying every Easter fidget slime and squish melt learning express, which I did. So great minds think alike. Um, can't say no to Cali Easter edition. Hmm, I should have done that. I didn't do that, but I should have. Birthday party versus graduation party target shopping challenge. Purple versus blue versus green target shopping challenge with Callie and Dan. Whoa, that would be fun. Trying different kinds of Easter candy with Callie. And edgy versus girly target shopping challenge with Callie. Yes, I definitely want to do another style versus style video with Callie. It's been a while, like literally months since we've done one. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. But I love those things Kayla likes. So let's see if she's correct. Callie, Dan, the color pink, Target, Fidgets, Starbucks, Squishmallows, the color purple, the Star Fam, Lucky, Chester, Lip Sess Lip Balm, and Glitter. Heck yeah, girl, you checked off every box. Kayla, I have no words. This package was so beyond generous and thoughtful. I cannot wait to try these Squishmallow gummies on TikTok and the lip balms and just everything. You are so amazing. And I am so, 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 so thankful that you are a member of the Star Fam. I love you. This next package, I don't even want to open up because let me show you the artwork that they put on the sides of this box. Okay, first of all, the box itself has the YouTube logo and my YouTube profile picture, as if that wasn't already amazing enough. So on this corner, they have a thumbnail of Dan and I when he had to guess girly products, which just makes me smile. And on the front, we have a picture of the Starfield member who sent this. Does she say her name? Let me see. It says, these are pictures of my first fan mail package I sent you, which I remember. I totally remember that box. It was pink and it had flamingo wrapping paper and it was just so fabulous. Thank you so much for opening it on camera. Please open this one on camera too. Inside is something you have been looking for in your videos recently. Something I've been looking for in my videos recently? I am intrigued. I also included things for Callie and Dan and a little something for all of you that was inspired by Karen. Okay, so that leads me to my next point. Okay, so we have the adorable picture of her and then some screen grabs from some TikToks that Callie and I did. But I have to say my favorite part of this package is this side. Look at this. She put tons of pictures of Karen in action doing all things that Karen does. Um, this is hilarious, literally. And then look at the little boxes. Don't be angry, Karen. Bye, Karen. Calm down, Karen. Don't be a Karen. Okay, Karen. And not today, Karen. I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but if you look at each square, I could just hear Karen in all of these pictures. <laughs> Does that make sense? I just, I love this so much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this box from the bottom, if possible. I don't know, I'm gonna do everything I can to try to preserve this box. It is just way too amazing to rip open. I'm opening this with extreme caution. Here we go. Guys, I wonder what's in here. She said that there's something inside that I have been looking for in my recent videos. And this is pretty heavy, by the way. 
I don't know what it is. I am just so curious. Oh my gosh. Woo! This is so much fun. I love this. So first of all, there are so many mint green paper worms in here, which I love. Oh my goodness. What is this? I'm so confused. <laughs> Stop! Ah, this is so funny! Oh my gosh! The game of one star reviews. It says Karen. Okay, we gotta read about this game. It says, meet Karen. I'd like to speak to the manager. Karen likes to complain a lot. The internet is full of Karens leaving real one star reviews on things like, and these are real examples by real Karens. Hotels. If buildings could speak, this would be screaming run away. This was from a Karen that went to a restaurant. The staff here smells like cheese. Thick and yellow government cheese. What? Okay, now it's your turn to get into Karen's mind and fool your friends into believing your fake complaints are the real deal. Oh, I get it. Okay. So you have to make up your own Karen complaints and I think what it is is they have to guess which one is from a real Karen and which one you made up, if that makes sense. Oh my gosh, Callie and I are gonna play this, like for sure. And it will also give us some inspiration for future Karen skits. I love this. This is just like making my entire day. All right, let's keep digging into this. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. They're little custom ornaments of Dan and I. What? Oh my gosh, wait, there's more. <gasps> These are pictures from my Instagram. Follow me, guys. My username is kdraw1999. Wow. The dedication that went into this. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. Oh, this was taken when I purchased my first home, aka the one I'm living in right now. Um, wow. Okay, so let's see. What is this? Holy moly, there's so much candy. I want to first see if there is a note before I keep going. Yes. Okay, so... sentence of this I was like oh cool it's a bird that looks like lucky it says hi Kayla you mentioned wanting a squishmallow that looks like lucky and as soon as I saw one I thought of you and had to send it your way I'm gonna read the rest of this but I first have to fish out this squishmallow that she said she sent to me oh my gosh Speechless. Speechless. Are you kidding me? This was literally my dream Squishmallow. Someone messaged me and said that they found these at Five Below and I went to Five Below the week after and they were already gone. I am so thankful. Holy crap. You're amazing. So let's keep reading this note as I hold my new best friend. I saw this and thought of you and had to send it your way. I felt inspired by you, Callie, and Lucky after finding it and decided to go on a shopping challenge like you guys do. I challenged myself to pick snacks that include Lucky's main colors of red, orange, yellow, and green. I thought maybe you could enjoy these snacks during a game night with Dan and Callie. I also included some snacks for Dan and Callie and even threw in something that was inspired by Karen. You should make an entire video of Karen, by the way. That would be so hilarious. You know what we should? If you guys want to see a day in the life of Karen or Karen going shopping or Karen doing anything, let me know and maybe we can make that into a full length YouTube video. Like this summer, that could be a new series. That would be hilarious. Also, it would be so cool if you did a lucky inspired shopping challenge too. How cool would that be? I totally agree. I would love to see what you could film like that. You guys have so much fun with those challenges. Also, I wanna thank you for opening the first package I sent you on camera. I wish I could hug you in person and tell you how much that meant to me. That was such a cool experience. I will never forget the day you posted those YouTube shorts. My whole family was so excited. I hope I can bless people one day like you do every day. You made one of my dreams come true. I like can't take this right now, like my heart. Oh, and she says, P.S. I'm 11 years old and I live in New London, Missouri. I love many of the same things you love, like fidgets, squishmallows, animals, lip balms, coffee, good smelling items, and shopping. I also really love baking, art, hanging out with friends and family, playing games, and watching YouTube videos and movies. And then at the very bottom of the page, she gave me a Q&A. So there are five questions. Let's answer them. Question number one, what are your favorite Squishmallows and why? Honestly, 
you probably could have guessed, but any of my bird squishmallows. So let's see, I have a seagull, which is probably my number one favorite because I got it at Cedar Point, which is my favorite place to vacation. And when I look at him, it just brings back so many good memories. Question number two, what are your favorite fidget toys? I really enjoy the Orby stress balls as well as Neato's. And I also love slimes. Do you like to play board games? If so, what are your favorite games to play? I definitely still love to play a good board game when I have family over. Um, and I've always loved Candyland, but I really love Uno, even though that's not really a board game. I love Uno. I love apples to apples. Fun fact about me, I'm naturally very competitive, so I get really into them. Question four, what are your favorite things to get at Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks? So at Dunkin', my go-to is a strawberry frosted donut with rainbow sprinkles, and then hash browns and an iced vanilla latte. And then at Starbucks, it really varies, but typically I get a caramel ribbon crunch frap with extra shots of espresso, extra caramel, and extra crunchy stuff. What about you guys watching? Let me know what your go-to orders are from those two places in the comments below. But the fifth and final question is, what are your favorite things about Callie and Dan? And if they're with you right now, I'd love to know what they love about you. Aw, it's only me right now, so I will tell you my favorite things about both of them. I love that question because Callie and Dan are two people that are very, very special to me and I would do anything for them. Okay, so my favorite things about Callie. Um, I love that Callie is just herself. You know, she is just so free spirited and she really doesn't care what other people think about her, which I think is so amazing, especially at her age. Because when you're in middle school, typically it is very hard to express yourself the way you want to. And I feel like even when people do give her a hard time, she just pushes through and she doesn't let it bother her. And she's just unapologetically herself. She's also incredibly creative and lively and open-minded and also just a very grateful, polite, kid and that goes such a long way i feel like there are so many kids nowadays that just don't have any manners and that is my biggest pet peeve ever with kids adults anybody like i guess you could call me the polite police there's nothing that drives me more crazy than when people don't have manners and callie's just so polite and she's also so sweet to everybody like we could go to a restaurant and she'll compliment the waitress and just tell her you're so pretty or i love your nails um, she just always sees the very best in people and I could go on. I love Callie. I adore Callie. And then my favorite things about Dan. Again, I could go on about Dan forever too. I love this question. Dan and I are actually a lot alike. We share the same sense of humor. Dan is always up for anything and I really feel like he would do anything for me and he's like my protector. He's very open-minded. He's also very caring and I know that he is going to make the best dad ever one day. He's also very thoughtful thoughtful and empathetic, but I could go on about him for forever as well. There's just so many amazing qualities that both of them have, and I'm so thankful to have them in my life. But anyways, you guys, there is still more. Let's see what's this. Stickers for Karen. Ah, I need to see this. I need to see it. I just have to. I know it's technically for Karen, but oh my gosh. Ah! Hello, my name is Karen. Wait, okay, I just got an idea for a future skit. Karen is going to have her first job and she's gonna wear this. Oh my gosh. I believe in annoyed at first sight. Stop making scenes. Annoyed by everything. <laughs> One star review. Roses are red, violets are blue. My name is Karen and I'm angry with you. I'm dead. I'm actually so obsessed with this package. I'm gonna put these back and I can't wait to give those to Karen to see what she thinks. Oh my gosh, you guys. And then here's all the orange and green and yellow and red candy that she went shopping for, inspired by Lucky. This is just like, this put me in the best mood ever. I'm so happy that I filmed this today. Oh, oh my favorite candy. Blue Nerds Clusters in particular are literally my favorite candy ever. Thank you so much. There's three mini poppets in here, probably one for me, one for Callie, and one for Dan. Oh, wait, this is so cool. What are these? They're little like lavender rocks. So it says, worry stones for Karen. Okay, worry stones. You'll be okay, Karen. <laughs> Breathe, Karen. And it's all right, Karen. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. What is this? Outdoor adventure playing cards. Oh my goodness. There's just so much fun in one little box. I cannot believe it. Oh my gosh. Ah, this is going 
on Lucky's cage. I'm literally gonna hang it on her cage door. And then this is the last thing that I'm going to open. Let's see, what could it be? <gasps> oh, M double G purple star glasses. Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> okay, this is my new favorite thing ever. <gasps> one pair for me, one pair for Callie. Stop, literally. This is like, I'm speechless. Callie and I are going to wear these all the time. And I'm probably gonna keep them in this fan mail room because I'll always know where they are. Or I actually have a content closet in my loft. Maybe I'll keep them in there. Millie, I really hope that you're watching this right now. I don't even have words to express my thankfulness for this package. There were just a million and 10 fun things in this box. And honestly, this package just made me feel alive. That's the best way I could describe it. This Karen game just like sent me over the edge and this note with Lucky on it. I mean, this must have taken days to put together, maybe even weeks. You are absolutely incredible. And I'm going to be saving this box. Like literally, it's not going anywhere. I'm keeping this for forever and ever and ever, as well as all of your notes and all of the amazing goodies. You are incredible. Don't forget it. I love you so much. And thank you from the depths of my soul. This next letter is way too cool to not open up on camera. Look at this, you guys. The star fan member literally wrote out the lyrics of you just got a letter. So we're gonna sing it together yet again. Here we go. Sing it with me. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. Bum. Let's find out right now. I actually got this in the mail not too long ago. So hopefully the star fan member that sent this is watching. Looks like we have some fan art. Oh boy. Oh yeah, we got plenty of it. So let's see. First of all, we have this note that says, Dear Kayla, I love your videos and I have a few video ideas for you. Number one, makeup challenge. Ooh. Number two, TikTok challenge. Number three, some type of athletic challenge. I hope you like your drawings. Love, Kylie. Oh, thank you so much, Kylie, for those wonderful ideas. And then let's see, we have this awesome banner that says my name. So they wrote K kind, A awesome, Y you are the best, L for loving and A for always beautiful. You have such a beautiful soul. I, I love this. And then, whoa, oh my goodness, they drew Callie and she's saying, OMG, I love it. And then they also drew me and I'm saying, girl, I need to hang these up side by side. This is absolutely incredible. Kylie, thank you so much for sending me this amazing letter and incredible artwork. You are the bomb.com girl and I absolutely adore you. Now we're gonna find out what's inside of this bubble mailer. It says, please open on camera in neon pink marker. And it comes from Miss Madison and she comes from Canada. So let's see what she sent us. This is so exciting. <gasps> Ooh, I see some candy. And what is this? <gasps> it says extra activator in case the slime is sticky. Oh, so that means there's slime in here. Oh, <gasps> homemade slime. And look, you guys, it is light purple with sparkly stars. Hmm, I wonder why she did that. Ooh, that smells so good. It literally smells like the beach. Thank you for the slime, Madison. And now let's see what else is inside of this package. All right, so we have so many candies, a magenta pop tube, you know I had to, a homemade pink heart squishy, a neon yellow marble and mesh fidget, a snake fidget, and then lastly, we have this note that says, please open on camera, I love you. I love you too. Hello, Kayla and Callie. I love your videos so much, so much that I decided to send you fan mail. I hope you like it. I am subscribed to your channel. I also hope you could open my package on YouTube. Thank you for reading my letter. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Madison, for sending me this package. I absolutely loved it so much, and I can't wait to add the fidgets and slime to my collection. Next up, you guys, we have this brown box to open up, and I love this because they decorated the box so nicely. On one side, it says literally lip -sessed, and oh my gosh, they wrote bubblegum blowout on it, which is a flavor I have on my Etsy shop. And they wrote, Kayla, please open on YouTube. Star fam with light and dark purple stars. I love this. So let's see who it's from and what's inside. What could this be? Ah, I'm so excited. 
so we have lots of tissue paper and wow there are so many things inside holy guacamole all right so first we're gonna read the notes dear kayla i'm a huge fan my name is kendall and i love your videos i have six lip sets lip balms and you inspire me so much oh and then she also made a list of my favorite things we have Target, Lip Balm, Scrunchies, YouTube, and the color pink. How incredible. And then look, you guys, she sent me all of these fun goodies. Oh my goodness. So we have Rainbow Swedish Fish. Ah! We love Swedish Fish. Gift number two. Oh, Sour Patch Kids. I am crazy for these. Oh my gosh, I love this. Literally lip set, and it's like that rainbow scratch art. Whoa! Oh, this is way too cool. So she sent me this ice cream shaped lip gloss and then a cotton candy one. How awesome is this? <gasps> we have another cotton candy lip balm, a pack of scrunchies in my three favorite colors. What's this? Oh, this is so fun. <gasps> Squishy surprise. Oh my gosh. How cool is this? I'm gonna open this on TikTok. I'm literally going to make a pile of things from this fan mail haul that I wanna open up on TikTok. So just stay tuned, you guys. Wow, I wonder which one I got. I can't wait to open it. Wow, oh my goodness. There's homemade purple slime in here and it smells so good, wow. A purple scrunchie, a light blue pop tube. <gasps> She sent me golden mini brands? That is so generous. Like, girl, what? I wouldn't even give up my golden mini brands. That's like a big deal. And she sent me so many other mini brands as well. This is like my new favorite one, the Bubble Yum Bubble Gum. Are you kidding me? And then look, it's the tiniest little simple dimple I've ever seen in my life. This is just like way too cool. And a hand sanitizer. This is Sunshine and Lemons. I'm gonna use some right now. Oh, it smells so, so, so good. What in the world? Ah, Kendall, I am just blown away. This was so much fun to open up. I love you so, 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 so much. And I hope that you're watching this right now because I want you to know how much I loved your package. Now it's time to open up another letter. And this one has a jingling effect. What in the world could this be? I'll bet you there's a bird toy for Lucky in here. What do you guys think? This is so enticing. Let's see what's inside right now. And we're also gonna sing the We Just Got A Letter song, but we're gonna do it extra, extra, extra fast. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's find out who this is from. Whoa, there's so many things in here. So much artwork. Okay, so the thing that was making the jingly noise was literally green jingle bells. That is so fun. We have this beautiful painted rock. It has like this gorgeous marble effect. I love it. And then she also sent me a bunch of this rainbow scratch art. I love this unicorn. It is so beautiful. Then she made me these two gorgeous cards with all of this sparkle and glitz. And this comes from Rylan. So Rylan, if you're watching this, thank you so much for sending me this letter. It had so many fun things inside and I love you so much. All right guys, so I have a craving to open up a humongous package. So I'm gonna take a minute and I'm gonna look around and try to find one of the biggest boxes that is currently in my fan mail room. So give me one minute or maybe a little more than a minute. I'll be right back. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, so that didn't take very long. I actually found two big boxes and I don't know which one to open first. So we're gonna do both of them, okay? Starting with this one. I'm not sure who it's from yet, but let's get our handy dandy scissors and find out. Here we go. This is a really big box, but it's kind of light. So to be honest, I'm really not too sure what's inside. <gasps> Ooh, it's a box inside of a box. No, but actually look at how gorgeous this wrapping is. Oh my gosh. So it says, please open on camera. And how sweet is this? It looks like this is from a subscriber named Hallie or Haley. I'm not sure how she pronounces it. I think it's Hallie, H-A-L-E-Y. I think that's such a cute name, but she is so precious. Oh my goodness. So excited to see what's in here. Okay, let's peek in. <gasps> ah! We have a giant Santa Claus. 
Claus pop it and he's waving. He's like, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. That's amazing. I love him and I actually don't have him. <gasps> oh, there's also a snowman pop it, which I also don't have and a Christmas tree pop it and a reindeer pop it. Was this sent around December? I bet you it was. There's also a note, but before we get to the note, I also wanted to point out that she literally, oh my gosh, she stuffed this package with fidget toys. Look at these, you guys. Oh my gosh. We have a pink and a purple globby, a beautiful rainbow snapper, a little puzzle ball, a marble and mesh, a rainbow loom bracelet that I'm going to wear right now, and also a poppet wristband. Now let's read that note. It says to Kayla, I love your videos so much. I really hope to meet you someday, but I live far away. I started to collect fidgets when I saw your videos and I wanted to send you a package of fan mail. I watch your videos every day. This is my first time sending fan mail, so I hope you like it. Are you kidding me? I love it. And then she put all about me. My favorite color is blue. Blue is also one of my favorite colors, specifically baby blue. I love fidgets, same. My favorite food is Takis, also same. And then she says her favorite drink is Dr. Pepper, which is actually one of my favorite sodas. So we are a lot alike. You're the best. And again, she didn't sign her name, but I believe it is pronounced Hallie from the picture that was on the box. So Hallie, if you are watching, thank you so much for sending this to me. I love it so much and I cannot wait to add those awesome Christmas fidgets to my collection, as well as the other ones you sent because they're just amazing, but not as amazing as you. And now as promised, we're going to open up this large package as well. I have no idea what this is. It sounds like a puzzle. What if it's a puzzle, you guys? Hmm. Leave your predictions of what this is in the comments below. <gasps> Whoa, wait, it's another box with pretty wrapping paper inside. Whoa. Oh my gosh, what is inside? I cannot wait to find out. It's the prettiest wrapping paper ever. So it says, please open on camera, which we are already doing, luckily. Here we go, let's see, let's see. Wow, there are so many notes inside and so many homemade squishies. Video ideas. Can't say no to Callie at Six Flags. <gasps> that would be so fun. We actually though, imagine if we did Can't Say No to Callie at an amusement park. Like she'd get me on all the scary rides. We'd have to get all the junk food she wanted, play any game she wanted, get the most obnoxiously large stuffed animals, anything she wanted. Ooh, that's a good idea. Whatever you could fit into your cart, I'll get. That's another good one. Taking a subscriber to Six Flags, that would also be really fun. 100 layers of each makeup product, 10 second shopping challenge, 10 minute shopping challenge, and 10 hour shopping challenge. You know what? I really like the way you think. I'm not sure who this is from yet, but you are very creative. Maybe you might be a future YouTuber. From Joel and Jade, there we go. Joel and Jade, you guys are very creative. Q&A, how did you decide to start YouTube? So I actually had a YouTube channel when I was 10 years old. My dad created it for me, but I would post on there. Uh, my first channel is long gone, but I originally started when I was really young because I had a really large squishy collection. There were these little pencil toppers that everyone collected and I wanted to show my collection to everybody. I wish I still had that video and maybe I do somewhere, I don't know. But basically it took me two whole days, but I lined up every single one of those squishies in my living room and I had my dad film a YouTube video of me showing them off. So that's that. What is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas and Halloween. I love both of them equally. Like I don't think I could choose a favorite. How many Bath and Body Works perfumes do you have? I would guess and say around 50. How many pets have you had in your life? Oh my gosh. Honestly, I'm not exaggerating. I would say at least 50, at least 50. I've had a lot. You name it, I've had it. What is your favorite Bath and Body Works scent? Ooh. It's called Lovely Dreamer. It's discontinued, but I am obsessed with it. Why are you so awesome? Aw, you're so awesome. And then she says, I'm making this while watching Preppy versus Sporty Target Shopping Challenge. Aw, that is so neat. And she wrote her favorite things. Starbucks, me, Bath and Body Works, scented stuff, Amazon, shopping. <gasps> Look at these homemade squishies. Oh my gosh, it's a YouTube play button and a rainbow. And then we have Lucky. Lucky would love this. She also sent me a bunch of candy canes, 
a marble and mesh. So much cool artwork. I mean, look at this. How fun and vibrant is this? I'm totally hanging this on my fan mail wall. Just saying. And then we have a giant squishy with lucky stars on it. And it says, girl in rainbow and then my name on the other side so it's a two in one open me smile oh okay what could this be oh my gosh ah, there's so much in here this is incredible okay so this is number one q a what is your favorite lip size lip balm my forever favorite is Slice of Heaven, and it's always available on my shop since it's part of the Savor the Flavor line. These are squishies, not bags full of toilet paper. <laughs> she probably sent me that warning because there was a time when I was doing a fan mail unboxing, and I did not know that homemade paper squishies were a thing, and so I ripped one of them open and there was toilet paper, and I was very confused. Thankful nonetheless, but confused. I mean, everyone could use toilet paper, right? But now I know not to open them. So thank you for that warning. Joel and Jade, thank you so much for sending me this amazing package of artwork. You guys are so creative and I loved everything you sent me. Let's find out what's inside of this purple bubble mailer sent by Ava. I love that it's purple because, well, purple stars are too, duh. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Okay, so let's see. <gasps> Oh my gosh, how precious. So she sent me a picture of herself and let me just say, girl, this outfit slays. I would wear this, okay? I love your outfit. Ooh, it says that it's a gift. <gasps> it's a poppet bracelet. I have the most amazing collection of these things. I'll have to show you guys sometime. And we have a mini heart-shaped poppet and this has really good pops, just saying. What is this? Another gift? <gasps> Ooh, it is a purple snow cone keychain. What is this? Oh my gosh, this is so neat. So it's like a little stress ball and it has the neatest shape to it. It's so satisfying. And then she sent me a note that says, I hope I can meet you one day. I'm eight years old. I love you so much. And I have been watching your videos for a year. That is so awesome. Thank you so much, Ava. And then you guys, look, she gave me a little BFF bracelet. I'm obsessed with the colors. And then lastly, she sent me this yellow unicorn monkey noodle. And I don't think I have this in my fidget collection yet, which is crazy because I have a lot of fidgets, as you guys know. It literally looks like a store in my loft. But thank you so much, Ava, for sending me all of these fun goodies. You are a superstar. All right, guys, so we have time to open up one more thing. Ah, I don't know what to choose. This is the grand finale. I wish I could sit here and open more fan mail with you, but sadly, I do have some other things that I have to do today, but... I seriously could do this for hours. So I decided to open up this one right here because it comes all the way from England and I have had this in my fan mail room for quite some time. So Sienna, if you're watching this, I hope you are. I'm about to open your package and I'm so thankful for you. I'm sure this was very expensive to send because let me tell you guys right now, I have shipped packages to other countries and it is not cheap. So thank you so much, you are so, generous and kind you did not have to do this but okay so we got a package inside the package let's rip this open and see what is inside oh my gosh another package inside of a package what is up with this beautiful wrapping paper i've been seeing today i mean look at this it's like a pastel ombre rainbow effect i'm obsessed literally living for this wow okay i think this is it there's a little tape let me just snip that oh my gosh let's see what could this be three two one dun dun dun, dun. <gasps> ah, guys you've got to be kidding me right now this box is stuffed to the max of my favorite things okay first of all let's read these notes okay so this says, Dear Kayla, my name is Sienna. I am eight years old and I am from the UK. My favorite color is purple and mint green and you are so amazing. Oh, how sweet. You are so amazing. Are you kidding me? You guys, she sent me so many fidget toys. First, we have a red and green pop tube. Christmas vibes all the way. I love pop tubes. Oh my gosh, then we have these homemade stress balls. Wait, they are so gorgeous. Look at them. Wow. Wait, this is so fun. I'm a 
obsessed with this. It's a little fidget shaggy ball pig. I love him. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's a little light up pumpkin shaggy stress ball. I am living for these things. Are you kidding me? This is like a purple jelly ball. What? Wait, this is actually my new favorite thing. Oh my gosh, it smells so new. Look, oh my gosh, you guys. It's a water-based stress ball. It has neon DNA balls in there. That is so fun. I cannot even believe it. We also have a neon green poppet and a poppet bracelet. <gasps> okay, I'm using these immediately. 24 nails with glue. Okay, I'm not kidding, you guys. I am going to wear these. I love this nail design. It is so perfect for spring. In fact, it's actually so ironic because look at the colors of these nails and look at my current nails. These are right up my alley. I love these colors. And like, tis the season to wear bright colors because it's spring and it's about to be summer. I love this. And then the rest of these items are homemade colorful squishies. So we have literally so many different colors. Oh my goodness. And then this says endless layers. Hmm, endless layers. Oh, I see what she's saying. Okay, so it's like a package inside of a package sort of thing. So the first layer, we have these little baby nail polishes. And now let's go for the second layer. Oh my gosh. <gasps> More baby nail polishes. This is so fun. I cannot believe this. Third layer. Oh my gosh more nail polish and this is the last one it's a yellow nail polish i love this one it's such a happy bright yellow sienna if you're watching this thank you so much for sending me that package i still cannot believe it came all the way from the uk like my mind is blown thank you for being so incredibly generous but all right you guys those are all of the packages letters and bubble mailers that i'm going to be opening in today's video if you guys like this video and you had fun watching it then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if anyone watching this wants to send something to my p.o box i'll have that address in the description box below remember you do not need to send me anything it's only if you want to i try to open absolutely everything on camera if you'd like to see me do a part two where i open fan mail for another hour then thumbs up this video maybe i'll do it with callie next time if you guys would like to see that but i love you to the minute back thank you again for watching and i will talk to you in the next video bye Mwah.